So the first thing you want to do is unlace both sneakers. Probably sit those in your Nike box. You'll get back to those later. So what you want to do here is get your cotton ball and acetone and get your shoe a nice medium rub down just to remove that factory coating and do this multiple times. So as you can see, I already had the blue in there. You throw in a little bit of white, flat white, however you want to. Mix that up real good, right? So after you mix that in, you'll get yourself like a nice little shade of baby blue. You know what I'm saying? UNC. And uh, you'll go in with extremely light strokes. You know what I'm saying? If you look, you'll see I'm not necessarily like painting it in, trying to get that full color, like a finished custom. You always want to start with those light strokes, kind of build yourself a nice little base, right? As you building your base and getting that color a little bit more solid right what you want to do is make sure you cleaning your brush in between i like to use water and a dash of acetone not too much and uh preferably i like to use diva napkins you feel me it's a little bit more solid and when you paint you don't have like uh the fibers getting all inside of your paint and potentially messing up your customs now that we don't got them colors a little bit more solid we're about to start doing the line work that going to making this a cartoon design. So what you want to do now is basically try to stay above that third line. Don't use too much paint. Um, some people like to use the toothpick for this particular procedure, but I mean, I prefer just a paintbrush. You know, you just want to kind of like go around the whole thing, you know, stand above the third line for the most part. Same thing applies for the lower part of the thread and uh, you know, you just try to stay under it, keep it clean. If you want to use a toothpick, that's cool. I just prefer, you know, paintbrush, old school, you know? You also want to make sure you take it around the whole shoe, you know, don't leave any part of this shoe out. And uh, like I said before, just try to stay under the thread line, keep it clean, keep it neat. You know, use the toothpick if you have to. And if you make a little mistake and touch some of the white, you can always get like a sharp point uh, Q-tip and uh, kind of rub it off a little bit, you know. I would just dip it in a little bit of water and, you know, wipe it real good because you can't use acetone. Yeah, so in this part, I mean, if you prefer to use a stencil to get a more cleaner look, then I would suggest you go ahead and do that. But, you know, this is my first custom, so I was just going in, just trying to create the most authentic drip I could on my own. So, yeah, you know, stencil, preferably, if you could draw it, go ahead and go on with that. Remember, folks, light strokes, light strokes, build a solid color. And uh, stay away from that sock liner. Once you mess it up, you can't fix that. Usually for any part of the shoe that's soft, that's not really like leather, usually I would try to mix in like some too soft with it, you know, just so it goes on the material smooth. I mean, you could, but sometimes you run at risk of getting a different color or, you know, it don't stick to the material the same. So I would just go in with the regular paint and hit every single spot you know listen people make sure once you finish those drips you go around to check get those lines make it look nice make it look neat you know it's all about the detail right so at this point all we're doing is just adding on lines to you know flesh out the cartoon effect or the cartoon detail to the custom um, you know, you want to put lines in certain places and, uh, you know, slightly above the other one coming from a different angle. Um, and I would, I would definitely add a little bit of white in certain spots, which I'll show at the end of the video because I don't have the footage. But uh, yeah, over those black lines, I would definitely go behind them or in front of them or in the middle of them with a little bit of white. You know, like I say, man, just for detail, I'm sure the customer would appreciate it and you would appreciate yourself for going in as hard as you can with your art. Then uh, for the toe box, basically, man, you just want to find the paintbrush with the 
smallest, tiniest tip you can. And you want to be extremely careful and then just try to go over these as slow as possible. And I mean, take your time and it's no rush. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it's the easier way to do it. I mean, I just haven't found it yet. And personally, I kind of like the disproportionate look. I don't want to make it look too proportionate because I feel like if I was to make perfect circles, it would kind of take away from the actual design. And there you have it. Custom Drip Air Force Ones. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you ever want to support the channel and channel growth, Visit my website, nappycakes.shop.com. Appreciate y'all time and uh, see you next video.